Hello everyone, my name is Devin Biggers and today I'll be doing a short tutorial on Glockster. As I said on my website, Glockster is a relatively new tool that allows users to make free interactive posters called Glogs. Um, this tool is implemented as a social network so it allows users to share and comment on each other's Glogs as they go to their websites. Uh, we can also insert text, photos, audio, animations, and anything else that you want to onto your particular poster. <clears throat> um, one cool thing about this is that teachers can have accounts and register up to 50 students and you can also have multiple accounts um, if you need more than 50 accounts for your students. Alright, so um, let's start by going to glockster.com and then we can come over here and create an account if we haven't made one previously. They're going to ask for a username, password, email, all of the standard things that come with websites. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to go over here and sign in. <clears throat> After we sign in, you'll be able to go to your dashboard. Now, your dashboard is your centralized location that keeps track of all your blogs and messages and things like that. So we have our messages section. Um, and we have uh, the previous clocks we've worked on, and we have options to get the link or embed those, or actually make them private or publish them if we would like to. So let's go ahead and create a new blog. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so first thing you notice is that the blog name is some um, random text. So let's go ahead and create a name specific to us. I'll just name mine blog example. Um, next thing you notice is that there are some default icons or um, objects on your page. So you have to get rid of those manually one by one. It's a little pain. All right. So now we're ready to create a blog. Today I'm going to create a simple, short blog uh, relating to perimeter and math. Okay, so let's start by changing the background. And to do that, we're going to go to the wall. There are different um, tabs that you can open that will <clears throat> allow you to customize it a little more. Let's just use this tab. It's like dirty paper. All right. Um, so now if we exit out of this, we can see our background for our entire blog. Let's go back here to our tools. By the way, this is a magnet, so you can move it up and down because the blog does tend to be kind of long, especially if your computer isn't that big. So um, I have some videos that um, are related to this subject. So let's go here to video section. And I've already uploaded um, videos, the video from my computer, and then I link one from the web. All you have to do is input the, um, input the URL in order to get that to work. <clears throat> But you click on the video, and then you can go to player to have a nice little um, customized player for it. So let's pick this player right here. And then you click on use it. All right, so let's go back and see what happened. Now it's in a customized player that we can move around. And now this video is embedded onto our blog. Um, we can also add multiple videos or multiple anything. So let's use this one. Um, open the player and use a different frame. Let's go to basic. See if they customize it any. Not really. <clears throat> okay. So let's go ahead and add an image. Click on image and then go, you can upload it. I uploaded one from uh, my computer earlier. 
so you click on it and just like with videos you can add a frame and let's go to emo and add this surrounding it so now we go over here and we can move it wherever we want to okay everything's pretty easy and it's um and kids will definitely get the hang of it okay so you can also add text to your um, blog so there's different types of text we can have bubble stickers or titles let's add a title to our blog alright and put it at the very top <clears throat> one cool thing about blogs and their objects is that you can um, customize them however you want to so if we click in the corner of one of the objects we can resize it to make it bigger if you um, move it or you can make it smaller all right and we can also move it around the place and you can actually rotate your image or object wherever you would like to and you see this sub menu right here actually moves around with it okay um, we can also change the color of our objects so if we go to edit there's a um, option for color and we can change it however we want to all right and all you have to do is click apply all right and we changed it um, we can also actually change the text so if we go into edit all we have to do is um, highlight the words and then replace them with whatever we would like to <clears throat> and you can also um, you know change the text and um, effects with the shadows and alpha channels and one really cool thing is that you can add a link so we have our URL right there um, I know a math goodies page that I want the students to go to for this page so I just copy that URL and I can paste it in here and apply and it was that easy so I press OK there's some more options um, if you happen to have um, objects laid on top of each other you can say bring it forward put it behind those type of things fully customizable um, you can actually clone an object so I come over here move that around if I don't want it I can um, trash it um, let's actually do one more thing with the menu on this side let's go to graphics sometimes we would like to point the users in the right direction or make little nice images that we can um, use later so um, let's just pick a graphic from in here there's a lot of options so it's going to take a lot of um, just going through and seeing where you want to use the mat let's use the animated graphic alright so this one actually moves when we use it and let's use one that doesn't move alright let's take this one that moves Let's point it down here. Let's rotate it a little bit. Edit, change the color. Then we can go down here. Have this arrow pointing to this video. Okay. So as you see, we made it. We've made a very short blog. You can add as much stuff or as little stuff as you would like to on these pages. Um, this would be great for any subject to have a creative way to show that students actually know the topic that you're talking about um, after we finish this we can either preview we can preview it to see how other people will see it but for the sake of time I'm gonna go ahead and save and publish mine okay we have the name we can pick a category and we can add tags I'm not gonna give it a category right now but um, I could definitely pick one if I wanted to 
and you can choose to make it private or public. I'm going to make mine public. Save. And now you have options to embed your code somewhere or you can actually link it. And I'm going to embed, embed it onto my wiki space. All right. <clears throat> so this is our blog. And this is how the user would see our page. And of course, we could go to the videos, pause, play them. And if I have a link, it actually circles it for me so that the user knows it's a link and I can go to the web page. All right, and that's all I have for today. Thank you very much.